Okay, so let's talk about roller pads. Roller pads are one of the four things that I think are really, really important when it comes to doing a quality job. So first they come in these nine inch, right? This is probably the ones you're gonna use. And then you could also buy a three inch if you have the three inch frame or they come in the creeper rollers. And they, I buy them in these value packs. You could also buy them in these two packs. So you wanna make sure that the roller, the creeper roller pad fits the frame, the creeper roller frame that you've purchased, okay? Now, roller pads come in different nap sizes. They run from quarter, three eighths, half inch, three quarters, inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. So technically when it's really thick, it'll go over a, a much rougher surface. Now, I personally only use half inch naps, even on a smooth surface. It does create a little bit of texture, but you can't really tell the difference between that and a three eighths. And I certainly would not go down to a quarter inch on a smooth wall because it just doesn't hold any paint and it takes forever. In the scheme of things, the texture that's left over by a quarter inch pad versus half inch is negligible to me. Right? In the scheme of things, you're not gonna walk in there and notice the texture marks on a smooth wall. You're just gonna notice the color, right? Okay, so I like half inch. I can use it over rough surfaces and I can use it over smooth surfaces. It holds a lot of paint so I don't spend a lot of time going to the tray and filling it up. You want to make sure that you buy a shed resistant pad. It should feel really good in your hand. You can really tell the difference between a quality pad and a cheap pad. But what you should stay away from are these inexpensive contractor grades. They usually come in packs like this and the worst thing about these is because they're inexpensive, right? they shed. So one way to do a test, you can pull a pad out and you can run your hand down it. Okay, nice and tight, all the way down to the bottom. And then you can see, you see the fuzz that's on there? It's on my hand too. So there's, what it's doing is the, it's all, it's, it's shedding off, right? And that's going to wind up in your paint and, and ultimately it's going to wind up on your walls. Now, I've been I've been told you know it's, well I could I could rinse it out underwater and get rid of the fu they're they're just not they're not made very well so that it doesn't mean just because I got this loose stuff off that the rest of it isn't going to come out at a later at a later time so just I would really recommend avoiding these altogether so this is a three inch three eighths inch white dove and you'll notice when I do the same test okay I've gotten I've got. I've got nothing in my hands, right? And you don't see any fuzz. Actually, there's one right here. <laughs> okay, but these are just, they're just really nice. They feel much better than this. Um, they're, they're much smoother. So that means they're gonna apply the paint more smoothly. These feels a little rough. It doesn't feel as thick. So I'm really recommending that you buy, spend the money and buy a nice roller pad, okay? Now, when you're out there, there's still gonna be a plethora to choose from. If you're concerned, it, Purdy is almost everywhere, so I would, I would purchase a Purdy. You can also, Miller is a local paint company. I'm not sure what their reach is in the States. Shed resistant right on top. You want a premium shed resistant roller pad. That's what you want. Microfibers are really great. These usually don't shed at all. Let's do a test. There's one. <laughs> so let's do a test on the microfiber. Okay, and that's good. It didn't leave anything on my hand. So these are nice roller pads. This is these are a great roller pad. Now my favorite by far, and I probably shouldn't talk about them because my understanding is they're being discontinued, are these polar bear pads. These things are fabulous. Now they don't come in different nap sizes. They only come in one, but they're really great. They soak up paint really fast. You can run the roller pad in any direction uh, and it dries really nice. And sometimes when you're using a pad like this, when you roll it'll leave a little lip of paint and I've never had that issue with one of these roller pads so I really love these things it's by Wooster I'm not sure what the story is behind it I just I go into paint stores and I and I hear that it's being discontinued but if you can find them buy one for sure okay